Last year, Taipei was named the world's best city to move to in 2020. The ranking came out before anyone had heard of COVID-19 and before everything from work to eating out changed around the globe. Today, we catch up with some expats who spent 2020 in Taipei. Did the city live up to the hype? Our very own Stephanie Yang went out for some answers. Last year, the travel website Internations named Taipei as the best city to move to in 2020. It surveyed more than 20,000 expats, asking them to rate cities based on criteria like quality of life, job satisfaction, and local cost of living. Taipei scored especially high in quality of life, health care, and transportation. That sounds about right, according to expats here in Taipei in 2020. And I gotta say that Taipei is a superb place to live because I think that the security, the people, the education, the whole thing as a whole makes it like a great experience. Plan to live here for at least like five years, five years or seven. I, one thing that I like to do in here is like to spend, to spend at the night at time at the park to read like at 2 to 3 a.m. because it's safe. I have like zero issues, nobody will, nobody will mug me or uh, rob me. Taipei is very convenient, especially the transportation. You can go anywhere. With the MRT, you can go anywhere you want. Secondly, there are convenience stores everywhere. Well, I guess this year, the, the best thing about Taipei is it's been free of coronavirus. So the, obviously the pandemic has been managed really well. So I think in the past year, that's what's drawn a lot of people to Taiwan. This year, to support the pandemic hit economy, Taiwan launched triple stimulus vouchers for domestic consumption. Since November, diplomats and foreigners with residence permits have been eligible to receive the vouchers. Triple stimulus vouchers have been helpful. We're in the middle of a pandemic. I've been working at a travel agency for a long time, but now there's the pandemic. I'm very happy to be able to receive the vouchers, which helped with everyday life. We foreigners were able to get the attention of the Taiwanese government, which is treating us Vietnamese like Taiwan citizens. With COVID under control, people within Taiwan are still going to work and traveling freely. Thank you very much. Jean-Francois Casabon Masunav, head of the French office in Taipei, says he's enjoying Taipei and looks forward to exploring more of the island. Uh, I've been in some very beautiful locations like uh, 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 Sun Moon Lake, uh, like Taroko, of course, but uh, they are the most famous and uh, I, have to, I still have to, to travel uh, more in, tai in Taiwan. Maybe I will try uh, during the next uh, winter to go south in uh, Kintung to, to, to uh, taste the seaside. Nobody knows what new challenges next year will bring, but as 2020 winds to a close, it's clear Taipei has burnished its reputation as a top destination for expats. For most of the news, Stephanie Yang, Gong Zhongyi in Taipei.